Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quadrilateral ABCD, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its uh, side length uh, AD is uh, 20, 24 units. Its uh, side length uh, AB is uh, 20, 23 units. And its uh, this BC side length uh, is uh, 20, 22 units. And finally, the side uh, CD is being uh, represented by x units and moreover we got these uh, diagonals uh, bd and ac that intersect each other at this uh, point uh, p and this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, this side length uh, x please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. We can see that this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees as well since they are our vertical angles. And likewise uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees since uh, the sum of uh, this straight angle is uh, 180 degrees. If this angle is 90 degrees, uh, then this angle has got to be 90 degrees as well, since they are our vertical angles as well. And finally, I'm going to label uh, these uh, segments. Uh, segment uh, DP as lowercase a, this segment PB as lowercase b, this uh, segment uh, AP as lowercase c, and finally this segment uh, PC as uh, lowercase d. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, APD. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is 20, 24. And our two other legs are A and C. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So this is going to give us uh, A square plus uh, C square equals to 20, 24 whole square. I am going to label this our equation number 1. And now let's focus on this other right triangle APB. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And once again here is our Pythagorean theorem. So therefore our hypotenuse is going to be 20, 23. And our two other legs are B and C. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So it's going to be b square plus uh, c square equal to 20, 23 whole uh, square. I'm going to label this one uh, as our equation number two. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle BPC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, right triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. So therefore our hypotenuse is uh, 20, 22 and our two other legs are B and D. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So therefore we are going to have B square plus uh, D square equals uh, to 20, 22 whole square. And I'm going to call this our equation number 3. And finally let's focus on this uh, right triangle CPD. We are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. In our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, x uh, and our two other legs are a and d. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we are going to have uh, a square plus uh, d square equal to our hypotenuse is x uh, whole square. And I'm going to label this our equation number four. And now let's focus on this uh, equation four. I can write this uh, equation the other way around. In other words, uh, x square equal to a square plus uh, d square. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And now I'm going to tweak this uh, equation. I'm going to add and subtract a few things. I'm going to add uh, b square plus uh, c square and at the very same time I'm going to subtract uh, b square and c square as well. And now I'm going to rearrange. I'm going to pair this uh, a square and c square 
and I'm going to pair this uh, d square and b square as well. So therefore I can write uh, x square equal to a square plus uh, c square plus uh, b square plus uh, d square and now let's focus uh, on this part. I'm going to factor out a negative sign. So in the parentheses is going to be b square plus uh, c square. And now let's make an observation. We can see a square plus uh, c square from equation 1 is uh, 20, 24 whole square. So I'm going to replace this one by 20, 24 whole square. And likewise this uh, b square plus d square, I am going to replace it uh, by this uh, equation 3, 20, 22 whole square. So I'm going to write down 20, 22 whole square. And finally, I'm going to replace this b square plus c square from this uh, equation 2. I am going to replace uh, by 20, 23 whole uh, square. As you can see in this uh, next step, now I'm going to rearrange uh, these terms. I'm going to put uh, these one uh, together. So therefore, we can write uh, x square equals to, I'm going to write down 20, 22 whole uh, square first, and then I'm going to write down uh, 20, 24 uh, whole uh, square minus uh, 20, 23 whole square as well. And now we are going to chunk uh, this part. I'm going to put a bracket uh, over these two terms. And now let's recall this famous uh, identity a square minus b square could be written as uh, a plus b times uh, a minus b. If I call this uh, as uh, a and this uh, as b, this uh, whole thing could be then written as uh, 20, 24 plus uh, 20, 23 times this uh, is going to be 20, 24 minus uh, 20, 23. And now if we add uh, these two numbers, that is going to give us uh, 4047. And if we subtract this one, that is going to give us 1. So therefore, this whole thing could be written as 40, 47 times 1. So therefore, this whole thing has been simplified to 40, 47. As you can see in this uh, next step, we are going to tweak uh, this uh, equation. Let's focus on this number uh, 2022. So therefore, uh, this could be written as uh, 40, 44 plus uh, 3, isn't it? And now this uh, 40, 44 could be written as 2 times uh, 20, 22. And then I'm going to write down uh, plus uh, 3. So therefore, uh, 40, 47 could be written as uh, 2 times uh, 20, 22 plus 3. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now I'm going to tweak this uh, 3 as I can write this thing as 1 plus uh, 2. As you can see in this uh, next step, and now I'm going to chunk this part, uh, this uh, and this, uh, this whole uh, thing uh, inside uh, this bracket. And now let's recall this famous identity, a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it uh, on this part inside these uh, brackets. So therefore, uh, this whole thing uh, is going to become uh, 20... 22 plus uh, 1 uh, whole uh, square. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, whole thing by 20, 22 plus 1 whole square. And now we can see 20, 22 plus 1 is same as uh, 20, 23. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore we can see our x uh, value is going to be precisely the square root of uh, 20, 23 whole square uh, plus 2 units. So thus here is our uh, x uh, precise value and that is going to be equal to approximately 2023.0005 20, uh, units as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.